Hey everyone, Elizabeth Ham here, your instructor and lead learner for American History 1 this semester. Prior to the start of the semester, I would like to take a little bit of time and give you some information about Blackboard, how you might access Blackboard, what's expected, and then the different resources that are available to you through our Blackboard show. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to johnstoncc.edu in your browser. Once you type this in, you will come up with the home page for Johnston Community College. From there, you're going to want to notice this top bar up here. You've got important information including Blackboard, you can search for classes, you can access your student email, you can access WebAdvisor. All of these things are available for you on the home page. Today what we're going to do is we're going to click specifically on Blackboard. And when you click on Blackboard, you're going to notice that you will be required to log in in the center of the screen. You will simply need to put in your username and password um, for Johnston Community College. And then from there, you will be able to go to the courses that you are enrolled in. Now, for, for this video, we're going to be looking specifically at American History 1. On the left-hand side is where you're going to have the live links to access the different things throughout this course. The first thing on the list is going to be announcements. These announcements um, will be posted weekly and will give you new information throughout the week. I might be telling you, hey, this is, what com this is what's coming up this week. Hey, don't forget that you have this due date coming up. Um, different things just to kind of make sure that we are all on the same page. I will also tell you that in announcements and weekly course information, you will see that I have hyperlinked a lot of different things. And so if it says click here, um, that means that this is a live link and you can click it to actually access the different resources that are embedded. The second thing on our list is course information. So when I click on course information, this is really going to be my home base for the most important information throughout this course. This is going to give you information about me, how is best to contact me, who I am as a person, what I expect, um, office hours, all of those things. You will also be able to access your syllabus through this course information tab. You will be able to um, access the general policies as well as your course outline. So when you click into this folder, you will see that you have your History 131 syllabus. You have your virtual syllabus. This is a walkthrough of me talking you through the key points of the syllabus. You have general policies and availabilities um, for you through Johnston Community College, as well as a course outline. This course outline is different from your syllabus because it gives you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the readings required for each week of the course as well as the assignments that are due. This is going to be a great resource for you to make sure um, to look back at often as you are thinking about due dates, as you're thinking about the rights that you have as a student or the expectations of the college. Um, this is also a great place to go back to if you're not sure how much your grades might be worth um, or whatever that basic information might be. Now, throughout the majority of the course, we will be accessing together weekly lessons. You will notice that each week is organized into a folder. You will see that the week starts on Monday and then ends on a Sunday. You will also see that this information is going to give you a short snapshot of what to expect within that week. I will try my best to have at least two weeks available to you. So for those of you that might want to work ahead, you're more than welcome to. Um, but please remember that the due dates that are set are expectations and are required. For this video, I want us to dig specific, specifically into week two because this is how each week is going to be set up. Week one has a lot of our housekeeping things, a lot of the introduction videos, those kinds of things. So I really want to show you the organization and the structure for what is expected. So when you click into a week, you have three, you should have three different sections. Number one is going to be a folder for required reading and supplemental resources. When I click inside this folder, you're going to see a couple of things. The first thing that you're going to see is you're going to see your required reading. 
This paragraph is going to give you information about what is expected within that, within that week. You will also be able to access a reading outline. This reading outline is going to give you the information for the week. It's going to give you the assignment due dates as well as the guiding questions for each unit. Guiding questions are not necessarily required, but are encouraged and will help you with your understanding of the content. The chapter outline is simply an outline of the content. Each week we will be covering one to two chapters, and so you will be able to access these chapter outlines through accessing this PDF. In addition, you will be able to access your online lecture presentation. There is a PowerPoint presentation that has embedded audio into it, as well as lecture notes that talk specifically, that quote for you specifically what I said in those lecture videos. Please be sure to listen to the audio on the presentation and use the resources that are embedded for you. For week two, we will be focusing on two chapters, so you will see that there are two different uploads, okay, chapter one and chapter two. In addition to that, you have access to your ebooks. These are direct links to the site, and so you can click on these and it will take you directly to the website um, once you have purchased that bundle. Um, these resources are required. However, I will tell you that I do not care how you get the information. It is okay with me if you use a variety of ways to get the information. You want to read some, you want to listen some, you want to take notes some. All of that is okay with me as long as you get the information and make the effort to dig deep into that content. Now, for each week after you have accessed your required reading and supplemental resources, each Wednesday you will have an inquisitive assignment that is due. You will notice that in the description you will have your due date. So for inquisitive, it's always going to be due on Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. You will also be able to um, view what those inquisitive assignments will be. So for week two, you're going to have chapter one and chapter two inquisitive assignments. Now when I click on this link, it's going to take me directly to the inquisitive website. The inquisitive website is then going to open up. You're going to log in to that inquisitive website, and then it's going to tell you which assignments are due for that due date. Um, so, for example, the next, the next one coming up is how to use Inquisitive, which is for week one. You'll see that you'll simply click on chapter one and chapter two that are due on the 19th. Okay, so all you have to do is click on those, and then you'll be able to access the assignment. In addition to that, um, each week you will be required to complete a discussion board. The initial response is due by Friday. Um, and your peer responses are due by Sunday. This information is going to give you a little bit about what is expected. I will tell you that your discussion boards are going to be the same each week. However, your responses will be extremely different as you will be analyzing different components of American history. So when you click in, you'll simply click the discussion board and it will take you to the forum that you will add, you'll create your thread and begin responding to that question. In addition to that, you have a new collaboration tab. This will allow you to access discussion boards and group Zoom calls. Um, when we need that, I will dig more, um, I'll dig deeper into that with you. You can also access your grades in here. Um, this is a great thing for you to check on a weekly basis. Just check where you are. Um, you'll be able to see what assignments are upcoming, how to, um, what, the, what your scores are on those. In addition to that, you should be able to access your JCC email through this left-hand column, and then you'll also be able to access eText and any course resources that you will need. Now, I understand that this is a lot of information. I want you to be successful and to feel successful in this class. If for any reason you have a question, please, please, please reach out to me as soon as possible. The last thing that I want to happen is for you to not do well in this class because you are struggling with the technology. I am here to support you. The staff at Johnston Community College is here to support you. And we will do everything that we can to empower you to use the technology to find success in the virtual classroom. 
I'm really excited to see everything that we're going to learn together. And I can't wait to start learning with you this week.